Um, it's a niche business. We specialize in uh, providing thick people for jobs that they're particularly good at. Um, arguments. Thick people are very good at winning arguments because they're too thick to realize that they've lost. To pick up a right. Rowena's uh, particularly thick. She's one of our top earners. She's very good with officials. She fails to grasp anything, least of all that she's being thick. So it's not your car then, then? No, I'm picking it up for Mr. Hunter. I'm not Mr. Hunter. Okay. Fill that form in for me, and that'll be £165, please. It's worth more than that. It's worth about £12,000. No, £165 is the fine you have to pay. <sighs> Don't see why I should pay £165 when Mr Hunter's already paid £12,000. No, you're not... Look, I know Mr Hunter owns the car, but it was parked in a restricted area. Right. Do you know what a restricted area is? No. Well, it's an area where there are parking meters, right? Do you know what parking meters are? Yes, I know what a parking meters are. Right. And your Mr Hunter's parking meter was over time. He hasn't got a parking meter. The one he was at. He was at a meeting. Yeah, well, his car was at a parking meter and he didn't put enough money in it, right? He puts his money in the car. Well, he should have put it in the parking meter. You put money in the parking... No, he puts it in the tray. No, I'm saying he didn't put enough money in the parking meter. And I just said he puts his money in the car. I'm not talking about the car. I'm talking about the parking meter, all right? What? Because he didn't put enough money in the parking meter. It's not a parking meter, it's a car. I know, it's a fucking car, you stupid woman. For Christ's sake. All right, madam, you can take the car. Off you go, it's yours. I, I can take the car? Yes. Ooh. Thank you very much. Right. You didn't have to shout at me like that. Yeah, could you leave, please? Do you do car washes at all? Go away. Just it's got quite dusty. And... 